just pulled into Albuquerque from the men's region about two minutes ago, so I'm kind of getting my bearings, uh, but uh, bear with me. Uh, Coach, just your thoughts on uh, these two teams playing each other last year, your play, um, you know, you've changed plenty over the course of a year. What's, what's different with your squad maybe compared to last year? Well, we, def we definitely have um, an addition with K.K. Hauser, who uh, more or less gets our defense really going and brings a lot of quickness. And then just collectively, our um, every we have everybody returning. So um, it's been uh, very, very solid. With Dre out, we we've been able to uh, do a good job with four post players, rotating them in and out. And I think that that's part of our game that has grown. And I think Chantel Poston has really stepped up for us. Uh, and and uh, your thoughts on, uh, on uh, where Sam Osterell is at? She left the South Coast State getting over well. I played against her before, but she's, she's you know, done a, a good job since the year this year. Yeah, Samo really has um, pretty much her junior year has really blossomed. Um, she's grown in so many different areas. She's really worked on her physique. Uh, as well as the mental part of the basketball game. And so um, her development, her being on the floor, we run so much better. She's an, a very, very good rebounder um, offensively and defensively. And, um, you know, her her one-on-one -on -one game has improved down low. Um, and, and then maybe, maybe last thing for me, uh, just your thoughts on uh, South Coast State. We've seen them on film and, and um, you know, just what you're expecting out of the Jack. Well, obviously, they're a very well-coached team, disciplined and fundamental team. Um, they try to outwork you, and they play exceptionally hard. They have great three-point shooters, um, and they also have an inside game uh, that has grown quite a bit. Um, so, you know, both teams have really grown from year to year, and, um, you know, we just have to make sure that we play our real solid defense and do a good job boxing out. Thanks, Coach. Coach, this is JJ Hardigan, Radio uh, for SDSU. Uh, how big of an advantage is it for you guys here uh, having your first games at home? I think any time in the NCAA when you get to host, um, you know, your first game, uh, I think it's always a big advantage um, with the women's game. Um, you know, you get to play with your home crowd. You don't have to travel. Um, so, you know, uh, it's been that way for a long time, um, and we've been fortunate that we've been able to host quite a bit. Anything else, JJ? Talk about your matchup there. Who's going to be really focusing in on James Starr for you defensively? Um, our fives and fours uh, will be uh, focusing on her quite a bit. Um, you know, she's got a nice, versatile game, and hopefully, our size and quickness, um, you know, can distract her a little bit. Okay. Anything else, JJ? Yeah, that's good for now. Thank you. Okay. Um, you know, last year when you got in a tournament, it based on everything that you guys had to go through with, with Dre and losing KK early, um, there was a sense of really excitement of just getting in the tournament and, mm -hmm. just, and just being part of that group. This year, a different mindset for your team. You feel like you have an opportunity to, to make some headway in this, in this tournament? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, from the, from the get-go, we were trying to win the Big Ten. Big Ten regular season or Big Ten tournament, and being able to do that, that's that excitement, um, being able to uh, accomplish our goals. And then, you know, we talked about being able to play, you know, at least one game at home, um, and you have an opportunity for two um, if you get past the first game. And, and so, yeah, I mean, we've set our sights, uh, you know, um, as high as possible. Um, and we obviously, at the end of the year, was playing really good basketball. But you, you sense a different mindset out of your team? Yeah, I mean, the mindset's different. Uh, the focus is different, um, you know, when you've got six seniors, uh, all of a sudden in February it just clicks, it's just different, you know, and I think every team, when they have that many seniors, kind of just see that. Um, obviously, Courtney went through a difficult time losing her grandfather mm -hmm. about, about a month ago, and you know, just talking to her, she didn't realize, you know, exactly what she had to deal with there, but just, she mentioned a conversation you guys had, just, what was your message that you needed to you know, I, I just told, you know, um, Courtney came in and we just talked. I let her talk. I talked for about an hour. Um, and she said it was one of her best conversations she's ever had. And, you know, it was just allow her to show some emotion because she doesn't show a lot of emotion. Um, talk through things. Um, 
you know, how are you going to deal with the death, you know, you're, you believe in a lot of different things, but like your grandfather, you know, so we, we just spent probably good time just sharing stories, and I think that helped her just kind of get things off her chest, and, um, you know, anytime you talk, things get better, um, and just say, no, just, you know, just relax and have fun, there's no pressure, and sometimes when you, you focus on something different, playing for somebody else, then you don't worry about what you've done in the past, and um, you can kind of set your mind free. You know, she's kind of a thousand mile an hour player at times. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. But did, you know, you feel like after that conversation, just maybe took a breath and just, mm -hmm. just relaxed a little bit? I think she did. I think she totally took a breath, um, you know, and just really, uh, just got some things released, I, I think, uh, emotionally and mentally. And now she's just playing, you know, she's uh, not thinking and not being frustrated and like, you know, this is just a basketball game, you know, death is something that you have to deal with and um, let's just deal with it and try to make it, turn it into a positive and, um, you know, so I mean, that's kind of how she's handled it and, um, you know, I'm just glad that that conversation was good and that, uh, you know, it helped her. How's Dre doing with her uh, rehab? Very well. She was so excited. She just shoots 75 shots a day, so she was <laughs> jumping around uh, in the gym yesterday, so, um, she was very thrilled. Uh, she was actually able to sit on her heel yesterday. So um, her rehab is going great. She just, you just, the biggest thing with the knee injury is you have to have full extension and ear flexion. Those are the two things that you just have to constantly have um, in order con to continue doing anything. So if you shoot a lot of shots and then the next day if it swells up and you can't do that, then you have to kind of take your time. But just like we did with KK and um, you know, do almost like an every other day type of thing. And, so she's, um, I just put her in the shoe, it would be great. <laughs> hey, yep, 504 defense, stand her anywhere, three points, yeah. Is she, she's taking jump shots in? Is she running? Yeah, she can now do jump shots. Line she's, not, um, not she's not running, but she can now do jump shots. So okay. she's been running uh, in the underground treadmill, she's been doing elliptical, she's been biking, that type of thing. So. Again, we're not in a hurry, so we want to make sure everything's you know really good with her. It probably isn't a surprise that she's handled this year pretty you know, as best as one could expect, right? Especially not knowing whether she'll be back in a year. Above and beyond anybody's expectations. I mean, uh, I guess none of us should be shocked, like you said, with what she went through last year. Um, a lot of kids would be really feeling bad for themselves and not bringing any positive energy, and she's just um, she just has a lot of faith. That things are going to work out, um, but again, you know, if she never puts a pretty uniform on, she's probably one of the most inspiring and strong women I have ever coached and been around. Um, and she'll leave her legacy in so many other different ways than playing if she, you know, if we don't get that extra year. These six-year things are odd, and sometimes schools seem to hear back right away, and sometimes they can last forever. Do you have any sort of idea when you might have notification? We're hoping by the end of March. Yeah, I think so and I. Um, sorry, a different topic. Just uh, what do you think about the Big Ten getting um, seven in to the tournament? Uh, I think it's uh, great for our conference. Um, I think it speaks volumes for the coaches and the type of recruiting we're doing in our league. And, um, you know, I think we can continue to have about seven in. And so uh, with our conference expanding and other conferences falling apart, um, I think it's just showing uh, how steady and solid that, uh, you know, Jim Delaney has everything squared away and has that vision. And, uh, just really proud and have a lot of respect for what we've done. What do you think of where, not you guys specifically, but where teams from the Big Ten got seated? Um, you know, again, I, I thought um, Penn State or ourselves might have maybe got a three seed, one of us. Um, but, you know, that was fine. But it, Ohio State was really uh, just not a good situation. I mean, I would think they would have been a six seed, the lowest. I figured they'd be a, 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 a five. Um, so that's the one that surprised me the most. Um, you know, and, and I still don't understand it. <laughs> Just to follow up on Dre, like what's, what's been the progression of the number of shots she, she's been able to take over the last whatever weeks when, she's, when she first started? I think she started out like you could do 20, and then you could do like 50, and now it's like at 75. So. I think it's just that, you know, the wear and tear, now you can jump before they're just more stationary and, 
and so you're trying to work that knee a little differently. So that's usually the progression. Is, uh, is she like this paint shots? I mean, there's like talking like 15. No, she's shooting or threes. Or three. Yeah, okay. she's shooting threes. You know, I mean, she can slide and shoot a little bit, but you know, it's not like she's going exceptionally hard. But it's just you know, stationary but jumping stationary shots. She hit it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so me and coach, yeah. And she was the first one to bound off the bench at the championship game, the Big Ten tournament. Yeah, her knee was a little score. swollen on uh, <laughs> did a lot of celebrating, jumping and running around. So um, you know, on Monday it was a little swollen, but heck it yeah. doesn't matter. No, I mean and, you know, when you when you're injured and you can't do anything, it, it, it's hard, you know. And um, she was just very emotional and it was just amazing that she was she's still a part of everything. You know, and the kids give her a lot of kudos for that. You, you touched on it briefly, but how she handled this, and you look at where your team's at, I mean, if she handled it any differently, would you be sitting here maybe 24 and 8 and Big Ten tournament champions? I mean, the fact that she, mm -hmm. she kind of took that on herself early. Yeah, I, you can't look in a mirror, but most people thought once Dre went down, a lot of people would say we'd be okay, but not as strong as we were. And I think it's the resilience of her, the resilience of our group, um, her being extremely positive, and I think that happens a lot when someone gets hurt, it's how they handle it, and then because people look to her for strength, and um, she takes a lot of pride in that, so, um, you know, as all of us, we have good days, bad days behind the closed door, um, but she's always putting that smiley face on, and I think that's, that's been a huge reason why we've been successful. Sure enough. One aspect, Dee Dee, it really looks like she's really become more comfortable and gaining a lot more confidence mm -hmm. handling the ball mm -hmm. in the spots where she fills in in the points. Have you noticed the same thing? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, she calms us down. Uh, she'll execute and run the offense. Uh, she knows how to attack uh, coming off the wing. Uh, you know, and now we've given her the green light to shoot the 15 foot shot. She just hasn't done it. But she's worked so hard on it that, um, you know, if she could shoot two or three, and just be comfortable with it, that, then that's going to expand her game because that's what's got to happen. That has to happen in junior, senior year. But uh, she's done a really nice job for us. And, um, you know, it's those minutes and her control and her uh, calmness uh, executing offenses is why we're successful quite a bit. Kyle and Mike had asked you about this in the last couple weeks about Shane's health. A little bit more, was it a gradual thing that you noticed for getting more confidence, Sharon, or? Was there a particular span in a certain game that you really noticed that, not the light that went on, but her confidence took another step higher? Yeah, I think players, you know, um, you can give them all the confidence in the world, but they have to perform and they have to be successful in order for them to feel good about themselves. Now exiting the conference. Yeah, and we're back. So, um, uh, you know, that's the big thing with Chantel is just, um, you know, when she has confidence, you know, scoring or rebounding and doing the little things for a team or locking somebody down defensively, uh, then that just continues uh, to feed other people and herself. So um, it, it was gradual, but then I think it all of a sudden became um, really immediate uh, by the end of February. Do you like what you've seen in your team? I know you've only known your opponent for about 36 hours now. Do you like what you've, what you've seen, the, the early reaction from your team so far? Oh, definitely. I mean, um, you know, again, anytime they're just saying just to have another opponent. You know, when you practice and you're not preparing for anybody, it feels like uh, pre uh, non conference or uh, conditioning time. So they're just excited now and understand, you know, the, the mindset of, you know, got to be able to defend four players on the perimeter and, uh, you know, the post players can shoot the three as well. So uh, very tuned in, very focused. Anything else? All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it.